This video shows you how to tell if a population is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. So we have two populations here. Red, roan, and white refer to color of cattle. So red is homozygous dominant, roan is heterozygous, and white is homozygous recessive. So I'm just going to label the genotypes here because we'll be working with them with our equations. The first step is to use the allele counting method to identify the frequency of the alleles. So this is the formula we use for the big A allele for population A. And I'm just going to highlight where these numbers come from. So for the homozygous dominant, there are two copies of the big A. So we must do two times 36. We're assuming there's 100 individuals in this population and that's why we can use 36, which is 36% out of 100. If there's 100 individuals, then that means there are a total of 200 alleles because these animals are diploid. So the frequency of the big A allele is 0 0.6, and the frequency of the little a allele is 0 0.4. We used 48 just once because it comes from the heterozygote. There's only one copy of the little a. For 16, we need it twice, so that's why it's 2 times 16 in this equation, because there are two copies of the little a in the homozygote. Now for population B, we follow the exact same thing, and we solve for the allele frequencies. So you can see right away these two populations have the same allele frequencies, but different genotype frequencies. So how do we know which population is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium? So we're going to use the Hardy-Weinberg equation to get the genotype frequencies. And you can see up here is the allele frequency equation as well as the Hardy-Weinberg equation, which is the genotype frequency equation. So the frequency of big A, big A is P squared, 0 0.6 squared, which equals 0 0.36. The frequency of big A, little a, our heterozygote is 2 times P times Q, so it's 2 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.4, which gives 0 0.48. And frequency of little a, little a is Q squared, which is 0 0.4 squared, results in 0 0.16. And we can see right away that the genotypes predicted by using the Hardy-Weinberg equation equal the genotypes in the original population. Now let's do the same for population B. So frequency of big A, big A is P squared, which is 0 0.36. Frequency of big A, little a is 2PQ, gives us 0 0.48. And frequency of little a, little a is Q squared, gives us 0 0.16. And we notice right away that these numbers do not match. They are not the same as what was in the original population. So population A is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium and population B is not. So to summarize, you use the allele counting method, you identify the frequency of the alleles, and then you see if you can use the Hardy-Weinberg equation to go back and generate the genotype frequencies. If you can do that, then the population is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, and if you can't do that, then it isn't.